What's going on chatbot builders? Today you're going to learn how to master the JSON tool. This is one of my favorite features in chatbot builder AI and I'm so excited to show you how to use it. Let's get right to it. All right, so we are in our flows section. You can see what we've done so far. We're going to add a new flow. I'm just going to call this JSON tool test. Continue. And in this example, what we're going to do is we're going to collect data information, but instead of collecting it sequentially, like what's your name, what's your email, what's your phone number, we're going to ask the question and include all of the questions all at once to allow the user to give the answer back all at once. And then we're going to still be able to save those custom fields like we normally would sequentially. Let's show you how to do that. So first we'll ask for the details, ask for the details, save. We'll click open the block, add content. And to start off, we'll just use a simple get user data element. And we could say something like, please tell me your full name, email address, and your phone number to continue. Okay. And so we'll click edit. We are on the get user data tab now, and we're going to change the reply type from email to text where it says save response to a custom field. We're going to tap this add new link here, and we're going to type in last message continue. So whatever they say is just going to be saved in the custom field last message, and we will remove the option to skip and we'll just click save. So from asking details, we're then going to open up a new action and it's going to be an open AI action. All right, so now we'll jump into the open AI block. And we're not going to need to use an agent or an assistant. We'll just keep it as generate text. I'm going to replace the custom instructions and I'm going to use instead something like this. We'll say you are a helpful assistant that only generates JSON based on the conversation data. You can say never include JSON at the beginning, or we'll say these apostrophes here. We don't want these or these apostrophes at the end and only provide JSON with no other words, characters, or context. Typically, we don't need to change or modify the last input custom field in the user message area here, but in, instead, in this case, we'll change it just a bit and we'll use this instead. It'll be something like, we will tell our bot as the user, format the following text to JSON so that we get the full name, email, and phone number. We've got last message. That's the custom field that we did reference, but we'll also do one more thing just to future proof ourselves here. And I'm going to add for more context, if needed, chat history. In this case, it's not totally necessary because we have a perfect question we're asking. Give me all the data points. What's your name? What's your email? What's your phone number? But in the case we wanted to have this more open-ended and not use that first block and have it more open-ended, this is the way that we'd be able to ensure that we're always going to get the best data from the conversation. Lastly, we'll need to save this in a custom field. We have um, something like AI image notes. So we'll make a new one. It'll be called AI JSON. Continue. And so we're going to choose AI JSON. Great. We don't need any function and we'll click continue. So let's rename our block here, generate JSON, and we'll be able to go on to the next step. Now, the next step is going to be a little bit funny. Um, it's very rare. You have to use anything outside of CBB to achieve the goal. But in this case, it's a lot of times a good idea. What we're going to do is we'll open up a new node here, text element, and we're going to just say something like AI JSON colon. We could, and then we'll use the custom field AI JSON because we need to be able to see these results. So let's go ahead and hit publish and we can preview this flow so far. Let's go to our preview tab and it's going to ask me what's your name, email, and your phone number. So I'll give them that information, Ryan Baggett. And my email is ryan at aol.com and my phone number is 843-505. Okay. And so I've sent my information and we can see we have perfect JSON, AI JSON, right? AI JSON, and then there's the result. This is the perfect format that we want. So even though I had all these additional words using AI, we have structured this data just the way we want it. And we're going to copy the JSON from the bracket to bracket here. And we're going to need to go to a JSON pathfinder. There are several of these out there. The one that I generally go to is the one here that says 24, seven, whatever. You click here and you're able to then paste your JSON. The reason you want to do this is because this is what's going to go into custom fields. So when I click here, I can see full name, email, phone number. They're just separated in this case by the underscore here. So I kind of know what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back over here. And now what we'll do is we will make a new step here. Right underneath is fine. Add content. This time we're going to go to actions. We'll go to tools. 
and we'll click get data from JSON. Click on the element on the left, get data from JSON. And now we're gonna select the data. This will be the custom field, AI JSON. Now we need to make sure that we're gonna set up the correct paths. Now we wanna collect the full name, we want to collect the email, and we want to collect the phone number. And so again, I see here that I've got full name. When I click, it says full name. This is the notation. What we need to do is just add in one dot, one period, and then exactly as you see it, full name with the underscore dot email. And there's no other additional words dot phone underscore number. So these are the pathways that we'll be retrieving from the JSON. And this is where the information will be stored into cuffs into system fields that we already have built in for you. Now, if you wanted to add another parameter, you would be able to do that. It would show up in the pathway and you'd follow the same pattern. Let's see if this works. So let's click continue. Let's rename this to map the cuffs. And we can also remove this text block because we already have seen what the JSON looks like. We don't need it anymore. We've already mapped it here. And so the last step is to display. Okay, we're going to confirm. Okay, so confirm data is stored. Hit save and let's add a text box. And so we'll just add in full name. We can say email and then phone number. Okay. And so now we'll just use our custom fields where the data should be stored, full name, email, phone number. All right. And so we can now test this guy out looking pretty good. We're asking for the details, generating the JSON, using that JSON to map the custom fields. And in this case, we'll send a message to ourselves confirming that the data has been stored and here are the values. Let's click publish. Let's try it out. Assistant, here we go. Let's click on our reload button. And so it's going to ask us our information again. So I'm going to hit copy. I'll just use the same exact thing. And I'll say, did you need anything else? Right? So I'm adding additional words, making it harder. And we can see, boom, it worked absolutely perfect. We can verify that it worked perfectly by going to the inbox. And we can see all of my contact information is right here, exactly where it should be. My email, phone number, and my name, my full name. I also can see the AI JSON that was um, used on the back end to generate these custom fields. And I can see the last message that the user sent here in this custom field here. I can also go into more information and see even more details if I need to. For example, I could see all of the flows the user's ever seen. I can see all of the information that I've collected and all of the custom fields. And so this is very robust when it comes to tracking and we'll have more awesome CRM features coming very soon. Um, let's do one more thing to make this complete. We'll add one more parameter. So let's say um, we'll need your full name, email address, your, your phone number, and let's say, um, and your desired income. So you continue, right? So here we're gonna change our prompt and it's gonna say here, email, phone number, email, phone number, and desired income, okay? And so we'll continue and we're gonna need to, again, see this new JSON here. So let's use colon. And we'll say AI JSON, right? Because that's what we're saving it in. The only difference here is we've added one additional new thing and it's desired income. So continue. And let's go ahead and hit publish. Let's click assistant here and let's hit preview. Okay, so there's my name, number, and email. And I want to make, let's call it 10 million. 10 million. And so now we can see the new JSON has got desired income, plus we've got the $10 million mark that I set. We don't have it here because we didn't add it yet. But now we understand that desired income is the new custom field that we're going to need to map. So we'll close out our assistant, open up our editor here on the left, and we're going to add um, a new custom field. And this will be desired income. The type, we'll just use text, it's fine. And we'll go back into our get data from JSON tool. Let's click add new and we'll use a dot desired income. And then we'll see our custom field we just made continue. Okay. And so now last but not least, let's add that new title here for desired income and the cuff. So let's test this guy out. Let's hit publish and let's click our assistant here. Let's click preview and it's asking us our name, email, and phone number and your desired income to continue. So I've got my name my email, my phone number, and I want to make, let's call it 100 million and send it. And we'll see that it gets transformed and then saved into the cuffs, transformed to the JSON, saved right into the cuffs. 
desired income 100 million let's go ahead and verify that by going to the inbox and we can see here here's my profile my email my phone number my time the last custom field value for ai json i can see that here and I can also see my desired income, 100 million. The last message the user sent is right here. I can see everything that I need to. I wanted to point out if you did need yourself or your team to respond to your customers, you can totally do that um, here by sending a flow, by sending a step to a flow, by using your AI reply based on your prompt, you're able to send a voice note or a manual message so this is very robust um, you can also see your executed actions so when anything happens within a customer interaction you can see when custom fields are changing and when things are happening and guys i think that is a good way to end i thank you for watching our json tool video and i'll see you on the next one